Um, hey everyone, my name is Master Starman, and welcome back for more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we got our super hammer and defeated King Bowser. Yep, King Bowser himself appeared in Glitzville, and we just mugged him in the face. <laughs> Alright, so next up, we're going to be facing off the fuzz. Yep. Uh. Wait, was that to use items? Because that would be really simple for me. Now, I actually have a funny story to tell when I began this battle, and I'm going to hope that this recreation doesn't happen again, but, because I kind of want to tell the story, and I don't want to, and I was, I was going on about something, I, during last year, I actually did a stream of this game, actually a couple streams of this game, I did like a live stream of like maybe a chapter a day or something like that, and I did all the way up to like chapter, I finished up to chapter 5, the end of chapter 5 I think. Either way, though, I began this battle in the stream, and all the fuzzies had shooting stars. I'm not making this up. When that happened, I freaked out so badly. I will actually show you the clip of what happened there, because it was damn hilarious, my reaction to seeing that many friggin' shooting stars in the area. I don't know what I can say to that. Shooting stars! Are you high? What? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, what the hell? Okay, I don't even remember what my restriction was, but I'm using my items. I don't care, but... Three, three shooting stars. Basically, items that do an immense amount of damage. They hit all enemy- when you have them, they hit all enemies and do six hit points worth of damage. Which is a lot. So, there was no chance I could risk uh, any of them using those items. Oh my god! I guess I could show off my, uh, super hammer here. Um, basically, uh... I'll do that there, and it can do a significant amount of damage to the person in the front, and also some... relatively powerful damage to the... or some... okay damage to the people in behind. And this is actually a really great way to grind experience if you don't even know that already. I'm gonna try this here. Oh wow. Wow, he actually sat page me from the shell. That's kind of funny. Um eh, Super Hammer did some significant damage last time. I'll try that again. Okay, Super Hammer isn't actually all that bad. Okay, they have 5 HP, I can tell that right off the bat. Power Shell! Okay, I killed the other one, too. He's- the green ones like to reproduce a lot. And the- these guys just steal whatever they can, because the last time they recovered HP, and now they recovered FP. Flower Fuzzy. That's kind of weird whether it took HP from the shell, that's... a bit strange. I wouldn't have expected that from an enemy called Flower Fuzzy, but okay. He had a lot of star points from fighting the fuzz, too, because the guys can reproduce. And I believe we'll actually be starting to get into some, a bit of the nitty gritty as to why this chapter is really unique. Apart from the whole fighting concept, which, as we all know, is still like the coolest thing in the game, basically. Okay, we have another email. Pretty much expect to get emails after every fight. Go to the telephone booth on the pavilion from X. Alright, so, we saw a telephone booth prior, I'm gonna heal my FP really quickly, even though we're not gonna be battling for a little bit. Um, it kinda sucks that you can't battle during these, but, at the same time, I actually really do like the, some of the story progression in this game that, uh, occurs after some of these chapters here. Oh, whoa! That's a surprise. Gonzalez! Good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. 
quit making such a splash if you value your puny life. <laughs> hey, who is that? I think he is threatening us. But wait, threatening us? Maybe that hate mail is coming from Rock Hawk. Well, one way or another, we really need to be careful from now on. Hmm. Well, now. <clears throat> Seems like stuff has gotten a bit more interesting. Uh, stuff's only gonna get more interesting from this chapter, as you're soon gonna find out. Anyways, as you head on out here, I don't think there's anything new in the lobby area. There will be some stuff in the lobby a bit later, but not yet. Anyways, out here, Nicholas Pay. I think there's a star piece behind one of these. If I'm not, yep, star piece. All right. I don't know how I missed that previously, but yeah. Anyways. If you head back over here, if you remember, there was a telephone booth, and over here there's a key in it now. And if you listen to this here, huh? Who are you? Friend calls are uncool. You can actually get some funny dialogue here. Local time is now. Snack time? <laughs> huh? Who are you? Friend calls are. Oh, I already got that one. The weather in Glissville today will be sunny with a chance of more sun. It's above the clouds, stupid! <laughs> uh, hi, Mario. This is Punio. Stop by every now and then, will you? Oh, uh, yeah, I got that one. <laughs> oh, hello, 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 hello! It reminds me of some of the lines in, like, Portal 2. Um... I'm actually gonna be... getting another email. Go to the storage room next to Groba's office, from X. I, I kinda wanted to base my voice on that, kinda like, um... GLaDOS's voice from Portal, because the letters are kinda spelled like GLaDOS's name is kinda spelled. And I'll be buying a couple power punches here. And I'll be getting a free reward mail. Um. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I got a free reward, which I think was a mushroom. Um, but the GLaDOS voice is, like, next to impossible to imitate just because it's, like, it's computerized and... Actually, I remember when I was watching the VGAs last year, uh... And there was, like, the pre-show, um, Ellen, Ellen McNeil, I think was her name. It's either Ellen McNeil or Ellen McLean. I can never remember what her last name is. Uh, she was at the, uh, she was, like, there was, like, a small little interview with her, and it was actually quite interesting, the fact that, uh, <clears throat> uh, she, he was, like, she was able to, she won, like, um, best voice actor or something like that, and that was kind of weird, I actually jumped there as a, what the, I never experienced this before, I was, what the, hold on, come on now, do this, I just jumped there whenever I tried doing this here, yeah, like that there, that's kind of weird, okay, well anyways, if you had in here, oh, hello, Oh, hmm, hmm. Me again, you husky mustache hunky you. Oh, Miss Mouse, hi there. Are you stealing something again? How exciting for you. Hey, by the way, a security guard heard you in here. Were you making noise? Oh, please, no one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. I'm quite obvious that someone else must be in here monkeying about in here. Oh, sure, right, of course. I didn't mean to doubt you, Miss Mouse. Gosh, oh, all you need to know is that I've taken what I need, and I'll be on my way. As for the rest of yourself, I'll do whatever you like. Hmm. I know, you must part again, my sweet mustache man. Oh, Mario, you lucky dog. <laughs> well, you have, um, Koopy Koo. And I love how she just goes right in front of the frickin', uh, thing. <laughs> Boy, Miss Mouse is cute. <laughs> Too bad I sound like such a dork whenever I talk to her. Hey, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Find staircase switch to reach the attic from X. Hmm, the staircase switch. There's supposed to be a staircase in here. Now, coming up is a puzzle that seems pretty obvious, but it's still me for the longest time. As you can see, Mario can't jump up there. You can't break those with your hammer. What you're actually supposed to do is bring out Miss Boobs, and pretty much, there's, there, these are actually just something blocking these areas here. And now, I'm... Heading back to Coops, my main man. 
And in here we can find a charge partner badge, which is okay, I guess. Not terrific, but it's okay if you want it. Um, I'm gonna try and break all these blocks at the same time. Uh, no, but I hit the switch, which you couldn't even see there, but yeah, there's a switch there. Okay, well, that's basically breaking all those, and now you can progress on upwards here, and there's a shine spray up here. And, uh, the door is locked. So, let's... Um... Use Yoshi and... Or Piccolo, I guess I have to call him now. Honestly, I forgot. His name's Piccolo, not Yoshi. And we can break this here, and... Uh, up there we actually see an HP Plus Partner Badge, which I can also sell for a ludicrous amount of money, if I'm not mistaken. And now we're in an air duct. I actually like this next... So this next dialogue here, it's actually pretty funny. So you didn't find a... Yeah. So you didn't find hide a hair of nobody in the strange room, that's what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Robot, it appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precaution. It was most likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we'd miss too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Julian. Hey, and by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted his spot on our roster per regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer has any f official connection to KPP, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the steps with the all fighters who've gone missing. Who fighters should have been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. What in nation's going on? I even heard some security idiots saying that Pitt's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellows that King K headed on home for a spell. If a word gets about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for business. No siree. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world did you go, darling? Uh, that's, that's, Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy, I didn't mean to pry now. How about this then? Heard of the Crystal Stars? N no, I never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie, well... Uh, uh, prick, uh, whatever that word is. <laughs> oh, a pre. Oh, I appreciate your time, Mr. Jolene. I can't believe I seriously screwed up saying that so badly. You go ahead and run along now. You hear? Well, if it ain't fine, how do you do? Ooh, seems good fighters are dying breed. That wild Gonzales is about the only draw I still got running around. Whoa, Gonzales. Whoa, did you hear that? Fighters are gone missing, dude. That ain't cool. Is the guy talking about King K of the minor league? I thought he retired. <laughs> what the? In the hay? Dang, seal the spookery. Hey, somebody up there. Okay, uh, you can say squeak, meow, or belch. I like this part here a lot. Burp. Oh, no. Just a little burp and beetle. Your hands are just. I love that. I got relaxed, take some yoga class or something. Yeah, well, back to the ring. <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of funny, actually, when you think about it. Whoa, whoa, man. You dodged your bullet there. Hey, but did you hear that guy blabbing about the Crystal Star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when she let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before somebody finds us up here. Hmm. It's, I agree with Yoshi. Let's... Go out of here and head on in out of here and I guess go back to do some more fighting. What's my time limit up to? Okay, I'm not doing too bad. I'm only up to like I think maybe 15 minutes or so into the video. I started record. I think I I'm recording like a series of videos, but I think I it was like 26 minutes or so into the video before uh like the like my like cutoff point is now up to like 40 minutes in total. So anyways, rank three in the glitz pit. Hamabama and Flare. 
And listen, so the, in this battle, I want to keep your part of yours from attacking. You hear me? Keep that little fire in check. You got it? Only you attack. Now get in there and show who's boss. Okay then, so we have to... Oh, crap. That's going to be annoying. You know, I'm actually going to use Koops for this because he has a point of defense. And I'm going to use him as human shield, if anything. I don't know if that'll be convenient or not. Because I think all these guys are, can attack whoever they want. But it will be convenient having a human shield for this. And since I can actually use Mario for the attacking here, I'm going to basically be relying on using my, uh... A lot of other abilities. Anyways, if you haven't noticed here, facing a hammer bro, a fire bro, and a boomerang bro. <clears throat> oh crap, the boomerang bros can hit me no matter what. Dang it. Uh, so... Basically, I'm going to be defending here. I have no idea what these guys' stats are, but I think I'm actually going to try Clock Out. That's, clock Out seems to be working a lot whenever I try it. Because it can buy me a, t a lot of time, basically. A lot of time that I really do like having, so... Basically, in this full... Yep. Two turns, okay then. I'm just going to get Koops to appeal from it. this, because that would be kind of convenient. Um... Super Hammer, I guess. Oh, they can actually do damage to all these guys consecutively here. I love how he just runs back and then just does nothing about it afterwards. <laughs> As if he's, like, stunned now, but... Ah, dang it. I screwed that up. Oh, come on. That's already over. Ah, dang it. Uh, if I do this right, I might be able to take out the hammer bro at least. It's mainly the boomerang bro that I'm concerned about. I don't think I'm too... Oh, shoot. That guy's a dodgy cape. Okay, well, that wasn't actually all that bad there. Um, defending there. Um, defending there. Uh, I'll spin jump this guy because he's the one who I'm most concerned about. Yeah, because Koops can take that like a boss, basically. That's Koops' job. Taking hits like a boss. I don't really want to on him when he has that uh, dodgy status up there, so yeah. Oh god, that was a lot stronger than I would have expected that to be. Um, please, damn it, miss. Okay then, defending that turn. I should be able to finish him off shortly. That was a- what the heck is with these guys' random patterns here, really? Um... <sighs> okay, come on, finish him off. Thank you. Level up? Uh, no matter what, I would have had a level up, but double experience! <laughs> oh, God. Double the experience for me, game. <laughs> 42 star points. Going a bit overkill this time. Um... Even though I don't really have any badges I'd like to equip, I might as well upgrade my BP because my FP, I can, with this chapter anyways, I can at least heal up, and I definitely will be getting at least one more level up by the time the chapter's over. So yeah. Anyways, here's our money. 14 coins, we rose to the third rank, and we should be able to progress onward. If we don't get another message from X. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around about the crystal star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who've gone missing. Oh goody, this guy again. He really seems to know a lot of stuff. So those missing fighters, the crystal star, you know, if we find this guy, we'll have all the answers. But who could it be?